Hello guys, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to cover update project progress in Microsoft Project 2013. As the name suggests itself, that as our project progresses, we can update the plan by changing the actual start date and the finish date of my project, by changing the actual work and the remaining duration, and by updating the current person complete and person work complete. We will have a better understanding of these constraints in our practical approach. In this video, we are going to talk about updation of project progress using Microsoft Project 2013. Now, before I start off, let me tell you about project progress. As the name suggests itself, it helps me in the updation of the progress of a certain project. All right, so where I can find it, it's quite simple. I have to go under the project tab and under the project tab, I can see something as update project and status date. Now, before I move to update project, let me tell you about status date. Now, status date is that date on which I have to update this particular project. So it is just a reminder for us that on this particular date, I have to mark the completion of project or I can, I have to mark the update of my project. All right. So this is a reminder that on 28th June, I need to update the project. So this was all about status date. Now let me move on to the update project. So if I click on update project, it is showing me multiple radio checkbox. The very first one says, update work as complete through it is showing me today's date right so it will give the updation till today's date only now under this checkbox i have two options whether i can select 0 to 100 or i can select uh f let me talk about the very first one it said set 0 to 100 as complete that means i can select any value ranging from 0 till 100 percent and I can mark the completion of it. Now, if I go to the next option, it says either I can set it for zero or either I can set it as for 100% completely. So I just have two options out here. So this is not the one which I'll select. I'll select the very first one that is from zero to 100. So ranging from zero to 100, it will show me the progress of a particular task. Now, if I move down, it says for whether I want it for entire project or I want it for a selected task. Now, first me started with for selected task. So I'll select this task, right? I want to update the project for a selected task only. The moment I hit OK, I have already selected a task. That means my active cell is in the cell, which says requirement gathering, right? And I hit OK. If you see on the left hand side of my screen, there is a uh, tick. Right. So this means this task was completed on Monday, that is 12th of June 2017. Similarly, if, if I go on the extreme right side of my screen, that is my Gantt chart view, I see there is a line which is appearing as completed. All right. So this is for a particular task where I'll select the particular task and update the project. Now let me undo this and let me show you how it is done for the entire project. So the procedure still remains the same. I have to go under the project tab. I'll click on update project. And this time I say update project 0 to 100 percent complete, 0 to 100 percent complete. And I'll select entire project. And let me hit OK. See what happens. The moment I hit OK, if you see on my left hand side, I see checkbox everywhere. That is tick mark everywhere. That means that particular task has been successfully completed till today's date. So today's date being 28th. And this has marked only till 28th. The completion of the task is only till 28th of June. All right. So this was how it is done. Now, if you have seen um, these particular tasks, these are uh, after 28th. So that's the reason it has not marked as completed. But if I do it tomorrow, it will definitely happen. All right, guys. So this was about updation of your project progress using Microsoft Project 2013. Hopefully this video was helpful for you guys and hope to see you soon in the next video.